this is Jose. Here I am again, this time with an idea that I've had for a while. As you know, uh, my channel is all about cars, and I've been thinking about this idea for a while, for a very long time. Uh, even at the beginning, it was just uh, um, started with a little something to remember, my first car, a little uh, souvenir, and um, then I've been, it's been progressing, and I've been uh, holding on to keys for my different cars. I made a little video uh, on my uh, Mercedes key. I don't know if you guys saw that, but um, I have the original key that I kept, the valet key, and, and even a little keychain for it. It was a Mercedes C230, 2002. Mercedes C230. I have to find my uh, the first key for my first car. Oh, it's here. It was a Mazda 626, and I have uh, pictures of all my cars. I actually started cutting, cutting these uh, pictures, and I'm gonna put these all in, uh, in, in place with the keys. This was my 1969 uh, Chevrolet Covert, and uh, I had this car from 2013 for, to 2017. And this is what I'm gonna use. All, all my pictures are gonna go inside this little box. I came across this little jewelry box and um, they're gonna go in here. Gonna, it has a little top, a little cover that comes off and I'm gonna put the, the key hanging there with the picture. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I didn't think about doing this video but um, I figured why not? I have all these keys. I have uh, all the pictures from my cars. Here I'm cutting all the pictures so we can so I can put them in the back of it and uh, pull these out together. I, uh, there's some stuff that I'm going to fast forward so you don't have to be bored with uh, everything in this, the same process. So you'll see the final product. You'll see uh, the, the, the process in, in parts are going to be fast forward, but you're going to see the, the process of how I did this. And, and I'm very excited about this. I really, I really like this idea that I came across. And, um, We'll see. We'll see how the, this looks at the end. But uh, uh, sorry for all those guys that I sold cars to and I kept the keys. I actually kept the original keys. Uh, some, some cars I gave copies to them because before it was easier to just make a copy of, of a key. It was not chips. So I just sold the key cars like that. Like this one was for a 2000, I'm sorry, 1952 Plymouth Cranbrook. Here's the key, very simple to make keys for these, the, the, the copy, this is the original. So, uh, no chips on those, very, very stunning. Not like the new cars right now to make a copy, like I have my Mercedes right now, it's very expensive to make a copy, or the 2014 AI4, uh, A4, Audi A4 that I sold very recent, this is the last car I sold, and uh, as I said, I apologize for, to everybody that I sold cars to, because I always keep the original, and everybody always asks for a second key, even me. When I buy a used car, I always ask for a second key, but this is the reason I ask for a second key. Um, all right, so let's see how this uh, comes out. I'm gonna continue cutting pictures. I already cut some, but uh, I'm gonna continue this and see how this comes out. Okay, so I finished cutting all my pictures. Now I'm gonna put them in order, you know, in, from when I had them. Separate them with dates and then I'll separate my keys the same way. So, um, look, I have all these pictures from my cars. I'm so glad I kept all of these. And, uh, I don't think there are many collections like this out there. I don't remember seeing or anybody talking about something like this. Well, maybe it's just because I like cars the way I do it and, and I like my cars um, 
that's why I kept all these uh, all these pictures and all these um, remotes uh, I mean fobs and, and keys for them so let's see how we do with all this all right I'll be back when all this is done and then uh, when all the keys I'll start putting the keys back or have everything ready I'll be back when everything is ready okay so we have all the pictures ready they are cut up and we have our keys also in the order we're gonna have to put them in the box so I'm gonna start working with the boxes and I'm gonna open them up and get them ready so I can put the picture in the back of each box these pictures were printed in uh, picture paper but it also is a sticker so it's going to be able to I'm just gonna be able to peel off the back and just stick it to the back of this box all right and I'm gonna do that about 24 times we're gonna grab our first picture Okay, we have to peel the back off. Okay, see if we can center these. Okay. First one is on. Now uh, we're gonna put this this together. Put this. Uh, we're gonna use some double-sided um, glue pads, and uh, we're gonna put it in one corner of each box and stack them up. We're gonna put it just in the back of this. Each one of them. Here it is, one piece now. I thought about making one big box, but here's my one big box with shelves included. So I can put my keys in, All right? Let's put some legs on this thing. Something on the bottom. put these door stops or draw stops okay here, here we go we're gonna start on that side we actually I started from the right because of where I'm putting it and the first part you see is this side on the bottom so I'm gonna start that way putting my keys in Mazda 626 that was my first car Okay, then I have uh, my Mercedes, my first Mercedes. Here's the, the original key that broke off on me. It actually broke in the ignition. I had to dig this thing out. I got it out and then I got a copy mate. So let's put that in there. And then we have a Mercury Mountaineer, 2002 Mercury Mountaineer. Then a Toyota Tercel. 
original Toyota keys. That car was really nice. 4x4, four four, stick shift. I had the original keys. I made copies. I didn't give my original Toyota keys. And I, put, and I put an alarm on it. It was easy to steal, so maybe not too many people wanted it, but I didn't want to take a risk. Then I had a 2008 Honda Accord. I leased that car, and that was my only lease. I think that was a mistake. That's the only mistake I made with leases, especially the way I drive and how much I drive and stuff. But I only kept the valet. I couldn't keep the other one because it was the because it was a lease. And then I have this uh, for a 2008 Honda CRV. And then I had a Nissan Maxima, 1996 Nissan Maxima. Same thing, original remote and original key. It was, I always managed to make the, well, as much as I could, I managed to, to keep the originals. There you go. Then I had another CRV. It was a 2011, I bought it brand new. I still have the tags and everything. I put an alarm also on that one, a Viper. And then I had a, another Honda, a Honda Accord. It was a 2013 Honda Accord. Put a Viper on that as well. Then I had a Chevy Trailblazer. Okay, I have two re original remotes, GM remotes. Remotes one and two for my Trailblazer. That was an awesome car. Eight cylinder, very nice. The key, I have one of the original keys and one copy. So I gave another copy and, uh, and another Viper that, remote that I, that I made for it. So I kept one of the Viper remotes and I gave that other one to the person that bought the car with a copy of the key. I have remote one, remote two, and the key. Then I have a Chevy Corvette. Here are the original keys for the gas tank, the, the, the ignition, all original GM keys. And of course, I put an alarm on that too. I didn't want that taken away. That's the only car I regret ever selling it. But it is what it is. Here's the Jeep. I also put a remote on it. That car didn't have, oh, it still has a battery. That, wow. I'm surprised. But um, this car didn't have um, automatic locks, but I put automatic locks and, and an alarm on it. Then I had a Plymouth Cranbrook. This is the original key for the original for the Plymouth Cranbrook. Then I had a mini. That one unfortunately I don't have a a uh, original key. I just have a copy and um, yeah, unfortunately, this is all I have for it. That was too bad. I do have some paperwork for that that make that came from uh, from Belgium because that car was imported for Belgium. Okay. Um, then I have a 2017 Dutch Durango. That was my first Durango. Then I had another CRV. Still have the tag for it. This one I bought used, 2010 CRV, and this is one of the cars my one of my daughters has. Okay, then um, then I had another Dodge Durango, 2021 Dodge Durango, with the tags. Did not return the key? And you know why? So those for those who bought the cars for me, sorry. Here are the keys. If you have an emergency, I'll come help you start your car, but then you have to make a copy, okay? You're not keeping the key. 
here I have the Mercedes key. I still have this car. Then let's see, I have my Dodge, my other Dodge Durango, my third, the one I keep, I have right now. It's a 2024 Dodge Durango. I have a Cobra on it just to keep it nice. Then I had a, a Land Rover. I bought a Land Rover not long ago. And um, here's the key. I had a, I had a couple of spares that I made because it was difficult making this key. So I have the, I had to put the, the plate from that, the insides of it. I had to get it, get it out and put one of these. So this is, I have an extra key. And the last car I had and sold was the Audi A4. And this is the key. All right, this is, there's more space for other cars. I hope I get another Corvette in one of these spaces again. But uh, we'll see about that. I really, really want to get another Corvette. That is the same dream I had from before. I still have it. I want to have a Corvette. I want to keep my Corvette. But uh, we'll see how, how things go for that. And that's it. That's it. This is the video. I'm just putting the covers up. See what see what they look like. See if you like it. I like it. I haven't seen any of these. I mean, there's there's a lot of people that still keep the cars. They have a car collection, not just a key collection. But uh, for me to keep my key for my first car. Over 20 years, that key for that Mazda 626, it was a nice car. It was, it was a good car for me. I mean, I don't like Mazdas too much, but that car was great. It was, it was perfect for me. It was the first car I ever had. That Nissan Maxima was awesome as well. That Nissan Maxima was a six-cylinder. It was fast, and that was also a stick shift. So it was great. I used to love that car. All of the cars here, I like each and every one of them they I have a lot of stories with all of them and uh, there's people that are st still have the cars people I know still have the cars that I sold them to they still have the cars and they still running great the only car I ever took to a mechanic was that Mazda 626 and uh, they mess up that car they left, um, they did a transmission service on it, and they left one of the hoses off, so all the fluid leaked, the transmission uh, went bad, they wouldn't pay for it, I took them to court, then they paid for it, and uh, then I got rid of the car, and I got that Mercedes. So, that was the only time I took my cars to a mechanic. No other car has gone to a mechanic. I've worked on every single one of these cars. And that is it, guys. So there's two things that I forgot to mention. One is my Logic tag that I had installed on my Corvette. Uh, when I got it, I installed this so that in case somebody stole my car, I will be able to find it easily, or the police will be. And the other one is that this key for the 2017 Dodge Durango was lost, and it's been lost for three years. Uh, luckily, my wife found the key. You know, she was the one that put it away because she had the second key. And, uh, of course, I was always blamed for it, but... She found it. She found the key that she put away all these years. Thank you, wifey.